Okay, in this arena run, I decided to experiment a bit with the eagle. As you probably know, the eagle summons a random tier 6 unit. And since this is a custom pack, this means you can experiment with what things you want the eagle to summon. And as you can see in the top right, this is what I decided to go with. There's a lot of good tier 6s that can pop out of eagle, especially when it's level 3 and it gets triple stats. So I have boar, gorilla, mammoth, octo, orca, piranha, reindeer, saber tooth, tapir, and white tiger. The only one that doesn't really help is the white tiger, but the white tiger is a ton of fun because it can just instantly give you a level 3 eagle and that makes it so much easier and you don't have to get like 10 chocolates or you know 5, whatever the number is, it's somewhere around there. But yeah, so so many good summons and they all get to activate their ability so you're going to get that plus and it's a level 3 ability so the boar gets plus 12 plus 6. Gorilla potentially can get coconut armor, Mammoth will give plus 6 plus 6 to everything behind it, Octo will deal 9 damage to 2 random enemies, Orca could possibly summon 3 more things, Piranha could give 6 more attack, Reindeer's free uh, melon armor, Sabertooth could potentially summon a 24-24, and Tapir could summon another thing. So there's always the possibility that the Eagle will summon a Tapir, and then the Tapir can also summon an Eagle, which can summon a Tapir, and you can see how out of control it can get. It also could go with like... The eagle will summon an orca, which could summon a tapir, which could summon like an eagle. And you know, there's just a whole bunch of infinite loop cycles that could potentially happen. The chances are actually pretty small, but like, you know, there's 10 animals, so it's a 1 out of 10 chance at least, and that's not too bad. And uh, the only thing that this really loses to is sniping teams. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but like a leopard, crocodile. Well, crocodile's not too bad. Like, lynx, I guess, is kind of a problem. So, like, leopard and lynx and maybe snake, like tiger snake, they just absolutely destroy these teams. So it is kind of a gamble to actually go with these summon teams in custom uh, lobbies or custom arena. Anyway, the actual start, uh, I didn't talk about at all because I wasn't paying attention. I was just thinking about eagles. And it seems like I went with a panda start. Panda is an interesting one because it's a tier two. At tier one, it used to feel like it was so good, so strong. At tier two, it's like, it's okay but it's not going to be, uh, unless if you get a lot of them, it's probably not going to be super good. Um, this level 1 panda, like, it's getting its stats cut in half, so the giraffe really isn't doing a whole lot. But luckily that melon armor saved me right there. And as long as you get to level 2 panda, it's usually, it kind of works, but it's also... What you really want is level 3 panda, so that way any scaling that you actually go onto it is better than just like scaling another unit, because it's the same thing, since it's just giving its stats to the other thing, and it's taking up one space. But hey, this means I can keep this uh, this croissant on the panda, and then pill onto the turtle, and I guess I'm gaining an extra attack a turn. 16, 15 should be good enough. Yeah, just... It does allow you to get a really big unit, and it usually is a bigger unit than their unit, so it kind of works out. Alright, so level 3 fish is pretty nice. Early crocodile, maybe that's worth taking instead of uh, the otter, but decide not to. Uh, going for level 2 blobfish. So level 2 blobfish, just instantly get a level 2 of, that you want, is usually pretty amazing. Just because like you also get the early tier up from actually buying the uh, level 2 blobfish and so if I wait till turn 9 I can get a early tier 6 as long as I have a pill frozen just immediately get it to level 2 and if it's like an alpaca you have immediate level 2 alpaca which means you can get immediate level 2 anything in the game so there's a uh, that combo uh, didn't find another blobfish though it took a lobster if I'm going to summons, you know, buy a bunch of cans, buy lobsters, buy turkeys, and then suddenly your stats are looking really good on all of your summons, and that's usually pretty helpful. Avoid all the, like, dying to weaker uh, sniping units. Alright, so there we go. There's chocolate. Very lucky. It's a boar. Not really what I was looking for, but I'm mostly looking for eagle here. I could take a turkey, of course. Um... But now I'm wondering, like, what do I pill on to? I could pill on to the, lo the lobster or the panda, probably, and decide to just chocolate the panda. Okay, interesting. Saving it, and then just get really lucky and roll one more chocolate. And now I don't even have to pill the plotfish onto the level two, or onto the panda. And there was a stronger, u theirs was a stronger big unit than mine, so not going to win that one. But that's okay, because now we have level two panda, going to get a huge boost in stats. 
but no eagles yet. Still looking. It's going to happen. I know there's some eagles in this run. I was debating whether that chocolate was worth freezing. Uh, still no eagles. Another lobster, maybe. It seems kind of greedy because there's nothing I can really sell on this team. Uh, I have to pill the blobfish, so I'm not really going to have any room. There we go. That's perfect. So there's the eagle. Eagle number one. We can count them together. And so the blobfish also works really well with the eagle. So it just instantly becomes level two in battle. Obviously. And, okay, didn't get to see what it would actually spawn there. But I can pill this blobfish now. Open up another spot. And it's another gorilla. Okay, not what I was looking for. Go for the level three. Um, keep rolling. Really, all I'm looking for is eagles and one-ups. And then... I don't think I'm going to take a tapir, so they changed tapir, if you didn't know. A while back, it used to be just whatever was in the last position, that's the unit it would copy. So you could put, like, an eagle in the back, or a tapir, and then... Well, you can't put a tapir in the back with another tapir, but, like, an eagle. And it would just always spawn an eagle, so it was a very good unit. But now, it is not that case. Spawned, spawned a 24 piranha. Piranha has the highest attack. It can spawn a 36 piranha which is kind of crazy when it's level 3. Um, and there's the white tiger. So instantly going to get 1 to level 3 at least. Unfortunately, the 1-up is on the one that I didn't really want it to. I froze an orca because I was a little worried about losing since this team didn't seem so strong. But just this alone might be good enough to win. One big unit and then like a level 3 1-up eagle might be good enough. I guess we'll see. Yeah, this was a really weak team. Wow. Don't know what happened there. The Sabretooth has some pretty nice base stats as well. 24-18. Pretty nice. And now double white tiger. Kind of interesting. Uh, this panda's going to have to move. Hopefully I actually remember to do that. And just keep looking for those eagles and one-ups, please. Like, the one-ups never show up when I want them to. Where are they? All right, one more white tiger. Sure, I guess we'll have a giant eagle. Who needs any other units when you just have a level 3 eagle with a 1-up? Alright, also, okay, they have a level 3 fly because of the white tiger. Interesting. And then a whole bunch of mammoth buffs with a shark in the back. So it seems like it might be a problem, but there we go. There's a 24-24 that just randomly spawns out of the saber tooth. You can see how OP that is. Like, just the summons having giant stats, and then you're summoning like 20 things... How are they supposed to beat it unless if they have a sniping team? All right, so I already got a level 2 white tiger, which means I can reposition. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be kind of a weird way to reposition. There we go. There's the roll I was looking for. Rolled into two more eagles next turn. Next turn is going to be great. And I'm thinking about, like, should I actually reposition this? Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Just have the weakest unit in the back. Just need to find those one-ups, though. And look at that. The crocodile sniped it. Kind of worked. The boar had 42 attack there. Then the gorilla's going to get the coconut armor. Unfortunately, it got weakened, but this still managed to win that round. And now I can combine. Get a third eagle out there. Okay, selling the panda. Why not? Who needs that thing anymore? And I have four eagles on the team. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Just... Oh, I need, like, three one-ups, please, game. You've got to do it for me. And then, so, three level three eagles, and then a level two eagle in the back with a one-up. It's so close to the dream team. And then, okay, another summon team with a tiger, oh, is that a tiger whale uh, eagle? I'd like to see it, but it's not going to be able to compete with this team. Just a whole bunch of eagles whole lot of coconut. So there is summoned an orca, which summoned a walrus, which summoned another eagle, which summoned a tapir, which summoned an eagle, which summoned a tapir, which summoned a white tiger. <laughs> that is so crazy. It's one of those infinite cycle loops. And then, like, the, we also had peanut in the back. Peanut on an eagle just kills something and then it spawns to win. That's pretty nice. But please show me more one-ups. Okay, there's one. Uh, unfortunately, this could potentially be the last round. I was thinking about throwing. I could combine one of the eagles and uh, hopefully lose because of that. But let's see. I can still lose here. Just need one sniping team, please. 
Doesn't really look like it, but they got a whole bunch of lemons and a 50-50. Let's see what spawns. Okay, got Octo. That's pretty good. Tapir, Eagle, Gorilla. Just a huge combo right there into Reindeer. And then it spawns another Orca. Oh my god. So it's just too good. Like, I can't stop winning with this team. Unless if you get unlucky and run into snipers. But there we go. Just the power of the Eagle. Don't even need a Turkey. Don't need Shark. Don't need Vulture. Just Eagle and White Tiger. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See ya.